Hello everyone, this is Learning with Michelle, and today we are going to be doing the first five problems of the 2022 Grade 5 Mathematics Day Exam for New York State. So, let's get started. For the first problem, it says, Jill has four $1 bills, three quarters, four dimes, and three pennies. Mark has three $1 bills, four dimes, and two pennies. What is the difference between the amount of money Jill has and the amount of money Mark has? So, Jill... She has one, two, three, four, four dollars, and now counting the quarters, four dollars and twenty-five cents, four dollars and fifty cents, and four dollars and seventy-five cents. Now counting the dimes, four dollars and eighty-five cents, four dollars and ninety-five cents, five dollars and five cents, and five dollars and fifteen cents, and now counting the pennies. and and $5.17, so Jill has $5.18. Well, Mark has one, two, three dollars, and now counting the dimes, $3.10, $3.20, $3.30, and $3.40. Now counting the pennies, it's $3.41 and $3.42. So Mark has $3.42. Now we have to subtract the, the amounts to get the answer. So we have $5.18 minus $3.42. And you have 8 minus 2, that's 6. You make this 11. 11 minus 4 is 7. Cancel out the 5, make it a 4, since you regrouped. 4 minus 3 is a 1. So the difference between the amounts is $1.76, which is answer choice B. Let's move on to the next problem. For the second problem, it says, what is the value of 6 dot, I mean, what is the value of six and three fifths plus three and two thirds? So you have to make these have common denominators since the denominators are different. So a common product of, or a common multiple of five and three are 15, I mean is 15. So six and whatever over 15 plus three and what over over 15. So 5 times what equals 15? 5 times 3 equals 15. So you also have to do 3 times 3. 3 times 3 is 9. So 6 and 9 fifteenths plus 3 and what over 15. 3 times what equals 15? 3 and 5. 3 times 5 equals 15. What is 2 times 5? 2 times 5 is 10. So now you have to add the whole numbers. Oops, let me just write a better. I'll get this out of the way. What is six plus three? Six plus three is nine. Nine plus 10, those are the numerators. Nine plus 10 is 19, then over 15. 9 and 19 over 15 is equal to 10 and 4 over 15, which is answer choice to D. For question 3, it says, which two-dimensional figure is always a regular quadrilateral? So, a regular quadrilateral is a quadrilateral with all equal sides, like all of them are the same size or length, and... All of the angles are the same measurement, so let's go through each square. I mean, let's go through each shape. Sorry, guys. Um, rhombus. A rhombus is this. As you can see, the sides are not equal, and neither are the angles, because these two angles on the top and bottom, they are acute, and the two angles on the side are obtuse, so A is not a correct answer. For B, it says polygon. 
A polygon could be five sides. It could also be a rhombus, so it's not always a regular quadrilateral. For C, it says square. So for a square, a square has equal side lengths and equal measurements for the angles. They are all 90 degrees. So a square is always a regular quadrilateral. So C is a correct answer, or it's a possible answer. For D, it says trapezoid. A trapezoid is this. All of the measures are completely different. I mean, not all of them are completely different, but the side lengths are different and the angles are different. Two of them are acute and two of them are obtuse. So D is not a correct answer, which means C is a correct answer for question three. For question six, it says, Janelle makes fruit punch by mixing the ingredients listed below. How many quarts of fruit punch does Janelle make? So for this problem, we have to use the grade five mathematics reference sheet, which you can find at the top of the state exam or near the beginning of the state exam PDF. And you have to use this to find the answer because it says five pints plus six cups plus eight cups which is five pints and 14 cups. So let's see how many pints are in a cup. I mean, in a quart. So a quart equal to, equals to two pints. We have five pints here. So we have five over two quarts plus 14 cups. It says one pint equals two cups and one quart equals two pints, which means that each quart has four cups. So we have 14 over four quarts. So now you have to add these. Five over two is equal to 10 over four. Remember, you have to make these have a common denominator because five over two and 14 over four do not have the same denominator. That's bad, since you have to make them similar. Four, and then 14 over four. You have to add these and you get 24 over four. Which gives you six. So Janelle makes six quarts. Moving on to the next problem. For question seven, it says, Shara is building a birdhouse. She cuts a six foot long board into sections that are each one third foot long. How many sections of the board will Shara have when she's finished cutting? So you have to divide six by one third because if she's cutting a six long, six foot long board into sections and each section is one third you have to find out how many sections there will be so you have to divide six divided by one third here you have to use something called keep change flip keep six make this six over one by the way you keep since they're equal keep six you change the division sign into a multiplication sign and you flip one third one over three you make that three over one flip the numerator and denominator that gives you 18. so for this problem 18 is the correct answer which is answer choice d okay guys that's all for today i hope you found this content useful and be sure to like subscribe and share with your friends I will see you in the next one. Bye.